The overall goal of this experimental procedure is to investigate cavitation-induced bioeffects in microfluidic confinement using surface patterning to precisely control the generation of tandem bubbles and the location and shape of the individual target cells. This microfluidic system enables experimentation with transit cavitation bubbles and cells that is relevant to therapeutic ultrasound application and zone operation. The main advantage of this technique comes from the improved precision from surface patterning. It allows to study the bioeffects of individual cells and the high strain rate loading from reliable bubble-bubble interaction. Visual demonstration of the procedures is critical as the surface patterning and cell preparation in the chip steps are complex, involving various techniques and tips. Perform all the microfabrication procedures in a clean room while wearing a clean room suit. Design the area of each gold dot within 25 to 30 square microns so that it is large enough to absorb laser energy for bubble generation, but small enough to avoid individual cells adhering to it. Clean the glass slide in a chemical hood according to the text protocol, then proceed to the spin coating hood. Program the spin coder to accelerate to 1000 RPM over 2 seconds and to maintain that speed for 5 seconds. Then have it ramp to 3000 RPM over 3 seconds and maintain that speed for 30 seconds. Next, secure the glass slide to the spin coder using the vacuum. Then, cover the slide with P20 and start the spin cycle. Next, apply NFR negative photoresist using the same cycle. Now, bake the slide on a hot plate.